Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we're going to do a review of Star Wars Andor. So, I really enjoyed Star Wars Andor. There were stories, there were rumors going around saying that it was boring, but it's not. It isn't boring. Um, if you watch the first episode, then go back to the second one. You go to the second one, that's when everything starts really kicking off. So maybe the first one kind of drags on, but it sets everything else up for everything um, that goes on um, for the rest of the series. And like I said, on episode two, everything really starts um, kicking off. That episode one is just setting everything up. Now, this series is it's really good. Like, I want to break it up like into sections. So you have um, the first section when you are on when you're on Ferrix, planet Ferrix. Then you have the section in Aldani. Then you have the Prison Break, and then um, at the Prison Break you have the big insurrection or the second insurrection on Ferrix. So there's really four big parts in this whole series. And these are my favorite parts in all of them because um, a lot of action goes down. Um, it, it's just really good. So <clears throat> main character Cassian Andor um, starts off. He's in this brothel looking for his sister. We get some backstory that he's from like another planet. And he's from a tribe, but um, it's implied that the Empire wiped out his tribe. And he was looking for his sister, um, but uh, in this series, he never found her. Uh, well, he hasn't found her. Well, in, in this season, he hasn't found her. Um, he gets caught up with the Empire and stuff. And basically, his life turns around when two corrupt um private security officers try to shake him down but he kills them and then um when the main boss of the private security leaves he puts someone else in charge and that person is looking for Cassie and Andor and that's what changes everything because the private security is after Cassian he has to find some way to get off the planet so he doesn't get in prison which lead which Causes him to run into Luthen, played by, I think, I can't, his last name is Skarsgård. Um, he, this character is, he, 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 he's great. Um, he's kind of like, I want to say he's like the mastermind behind the rebellion, but he's one of the masterminds behind it. And when you follow his character throughout this series, Luthen, um, you see that he's always playing a mental chess game with the Empire. Um, with the Rebellion, they have spies everywhere, even in the higher ranks of the Empire. And some of his dilemmas that he has to face is, does he act on the information that he's given? Does he let things just play out? Does he prevent them if he does this? How is the Empire going to react and do that? It's just a big mental chess game that you see between Luthen and the Empire and what he does and what he doesn't do. Um, that kind of um, determines what direction the Empire and Rebellion are going into. So Luthen um, uses Cassian. Um, to do one of my favorite parts. Oh, well, before we get to like one of my up favorite parts, the second part, well, before we get to Aldani, Ferrix, okay? Um, the way Luthen and Cassian meet is Cassian's running from the private security. There's a big fight that um, gets out of hand and Cassian ex um, escapes with Luthen. Private security company, they screwed up so bad that the Empire shows up and makes an outpost on Ferrix, like an actual imperial presence on Ferrix. And 
Um, they called the private security company inept. And we move on to Aldani. In Aldani, what Luthen wants him, what Luthen wants Cassian to do is work with these other group of rebels to steal pay credits from the Empire. Steal them and like take them with you to steal their payroll and stuff. So it's a strategy to mess with the Empire's finances and everything. And the strategy works. And when it does, the Empire becomes furious. They begin to crack down on everyone and everything. Every every planet they have control over, um, they're beginning to not be tolerant of their culture and stuff. They're making it to be, okay, no more of your cultural festivities or stuff. You're just going to do what we want, what we tell you. And if you don't, there'll be serious consequences. So what Aldani is a huge catalyst in this point because that's when the Empire really starts cracking down on people. And it's good. Like Cassian um, escapes with some of the money um, from Aldani and he just starts living a life as a tourist, has all the money he wants, he's safe. But then, unfortunately, um, some stormtrooper uh, thinks he's acting suspicious because um, when one other stormtrooper was chasing these guys, he started running. And, you know, if you run, um, innocent people don't run. And so, and keep in mind, the Empire's on edge after, like, nearly all their pay credits were stolen from Aldani. So he's thrown into this um, prison war, um, prison work um, facility where he's basically going to work until he dies, until um, he he escapes. He escapes. He sets up this prison escape, and it's huge. Like, they're under, um, they're surrounded by water. Um, they have to basically, when they escape, swim to shore and everything. Uh, the prison escape um, was also really... Th- really good thing that I liked here. The prison escape. Uh, the next um, thing that I really liked was the, insur- uh, the second insurrection on Ferrix. Um, Cassian's um, surrogate mother passes away, but when she does at her funeral, a droid gives a hollow message and she's inspiring the civilians of Ferrix to stand up to the Empire. And they all do, and they're all fighting. Uh, someone, a uh, person on Ferrix, throws a bomb at the Empire, blows everything up, and then the Empire is just like, I fight it, fire at will, and they're just shooting people down and stuff. Um, so, really big parts. The first um, insurrection on Ferrix with the private security company, Aldani, um, stealing the pay credits um, from the Empire. Prison break, second insurrection on Ferrix when the Empire is there. Uh, really good. Um, other aspects that I liked to this. Luthen, as I mentioned earlier, his uh, mental chess game um, with the Empire. Um, we see Saw Guerrera in here, and he's really um, sees like how Luthen plans and how he does his stuff. It is like a mental chess game and stuff, and he really has people everywhere, so he knows what's going on really at all times. Um, After, like, Aldani happens, I mentioned numerous times in this video that the Empire starts to crack down. Well, Luthen also has this senator who supplies him money and everything, and she has to worry about um, the Empire's security, ISB. And she has to be careful because 
her driver works with them and she has to watch what she says around them. She has to be very careful around him um, because the Empire is um, on to her because she's been too sympathetic um, to people that they rule over. They are looking at her bank accounts and stuff. And basically, in order for her to fund the rebellion, in order to defeat the Empire in the future, she has to potentially, realistically, like hitch her daughter to like some uh, banker's son so he can help her um, make her money. Um, help liquidate her money so she can move it more freely and escape from the auditors of the empire and stuff. So, like, she she has to do this. Um, otherwise, the the rebellion will die and the empire will still continue to rule. And she has to keep helping the rebellion, and she can't be she can't get caught by the empire. So she has to do this like to her daughter. So this banker can make her money more make her money liquidate so she can um withdraw it move it whenever she wants to without raising eyebrows from the empire's auditors and this series is really good guys i enjoyed it and it leaves off with the empire nearly completing the death star so if you don't know your background information on Star Wars, Cassian Andor is in Star Wars Rogue One. So this is obviously a prequel to that. So are we going to get another season that kind of leads up to Rogue One? Is he going to meet um, the female lead in Star Wars Rogue One in the second season of Star Wars Andor? Is he going to meet his sister? Uh, ever, or he's going to find out what happened to her. So we have to see what happens, guys. We have to see what happens if we do get a second season or not. But um, if you liked what I had to share, please... All right. Oh, sorry. I got ahead of myself. All right. That's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, guys. And have you seen Star Wars Andor? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, have a great day.